Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to trim automate anything quickly in Reaper. Now in a previous video, I showed you how to automate anything quickly in Reaper. In this video, I'm going to show you how to trim that automation. But if you need to go back and check that video first, feel free. So in that video, we had a synth that sounded like this. And if we wanted to automate this synth as far as volume, we can go down here and right click and choose the right mode. Then we can move our fader or just touch it. And that creates a volume envelope. Then we can move the fader to just the level of our synth. And it'll be recorded and played back in Reaper like this. So now we created this volume envelope that's going to play back based on the movements of the fader. We could switch it to touch mode and see it play back. Let's say we're happy with the result, but between bar two and bar three, it got a bit too loud. Now we could rewrite it in touch mode like this and let go at bar three and it punches out. But if we didn't want to do that because we're really happy with the automation in this section, it's just a bit too loud, we could just trim it, which is adjust the level overall in this section. Now there's two different ways to do it. The first way is using automation items like this. Hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just draw from here to here. And that creates an automation item right here. Now we could double click it over here. And that opens up the automation item properties for this item. And we can go over here to the baseline and bring it up or down to readjust the volume for this section. And we can hear the result in real time. And if we're happy with that result, just close this, right click the item, and instead of choosing to delete it, we'll delete it while preserving the points, which keeps the points we had, but just deletes the item. So it'll sound exactly the same. But now it's a bit lower in this section. But if you notice, if we zoom in, the transition is too abrupt. So we should smooth it out over here. So I'm going to right click drag to select these points and delete it. And that smooths out that section. We'll do the same over here. And now that change is smoother. but it still preserved the automation in that section. We just trimmed the overall level, which is great for sections that are just a bit too loud or too low that we want to tweak. But we could also do this with razor edits. Let's put it back the way it was before, where it was a bit too loud. Let's create a razor edit for this section. Hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and right click drag, which creates a razor edit. Then we could drag over here to bring it up or down. And what's nice about this, if you look over here, we can see how much we're changing the level. We'll bring it down, it's about minus three, or we'll bring it up, 
to about plus three. So if we know we want to trim this section by a few dB, we could do it with razor edits. Let's bring it down. And again, we could hear this in real time. And if that sounds better, hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac to clear the Razor Edit, and it's done. But again, we can clean this up a bit, select these points, and delete them to clean up that transition. And now it sounds like this. And we can do a similar thing with pan. Let's undo all this. Let's switch the automation mode to right. Let's touch the pan. And we get a pan envelope right away. I'm going to move it mostly to the left and start writing pan automation. We can play it back by switching it to touch mode. And again, let's say we're not happy with bar two to bar three. We could adjust it those two different ways. We can create an automation item, double click it, and instead of adjusting the baseline, which is going to move it more left or more right, which we could do, we could adjust the amplitude to decide how far it goes from left to right. So we can compress it like this or expand it like this. And again, we could hear it in real time. And if we like it, right click, delete it, preserving the points. Let's clean up the transitions on both sides. And now it sounds like this. And again, we do the same thing with razor edits. Just create that razor edit, hold on the PC, option on the Mac, and right click drag like this. Go over here in the middle to adjust it to the right or the left, or we can compress or expand it by holding down control on the PC or command on the Mac. And now we can compress it so it doesn't go as far to the left or the right or further. And again, we can hear this in real time. And if we like it, just clear the razor edit, maybe tweak the transition on both sides. And it sounds like this. Now, we're probably not going to trim our mute automation, but we might want to trim any automation done to our parameters in plugins. So let's undo all this again. And let's put an EQ on the synth. We'll use re EQ. We'll remove all the bands except for one, change it to a low pass, and adjust it like this. And if you want to automate this parameter, just right click and switch it to right mode. We can just touch this parameter and it creates that envelope and we can write it on the fly. And to play it back, we could switch it to touch. Let's close the plugin and we can hear it back. And again, if we wanted to tweak 
between bar two and bar three. Hold on Alt on the PC, option on the Mac to create an automation item. Double click it and we could tweak the baseline so it's more filtered or less or compress it with the amplitude. And if we like this better, just right click and delete it. And we have the change. Or we could do it with a razor edit. Again, less filtered, more filtered, and we could hear it in real time. Or we can compress it or expand it the same way. And clear it, clean up the transitions. Just like that. So in this way, we could trim any automation or envelopes we're happy with, but we just want to tweak or readjust them in sections. So that's pretty much it. That's how to trim, automate anything quickly in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Oh!